Hi, my name is uh, John Fuller, and I'm the uh, application scientist for LabSite, uh, covering the New England area based in Boston. And today I'm going to talk about uh, applications in synthetic biology, but frankly, um, given the uh, previous um, session um, from the foundries, I don't know that I can do a better job at uh, highlighting our applications, but I can't let you go to lunch just yet. So I figured I'd talk a little bit about um, what goes on under the hood, so to speak, with uh, ECHO technology. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the ECHO, what our instrument does is use acoustic energy, which converges at the air-liquid interface to form a mound of fluid. And from that mound of fluid, depending on the instrument, we are able to generate 2.5 or 25 nanoliter droplets with uh, high precision and accuracy. And so with our machine, you can move from any source containing your sample to any destination without ever touching the fluid. Our prop uh, proprietary technology, dynamic fluid analysis, is the key to successful aqueous transfers. This graphic illustrates how this works. The echo sends a small ping of energy into the well. That energy reflects back, and then from that reading, we are able to uh, to generate and to understand the uh, acoustic properties of that fluid. And this enables us to uh, dispense any volume within range given a wide variety of uh, fluid properties. And our calibrations are turnkey ready and fairly straightforward to use. So if you're familiar with the history of the ECHO, uh, we got our start on high throughput screening platforms, dispensing uh, small molecule libraries, but with the advent of dynamic fluid analysis, we've been able to uh, push the envelope and leverage the technology in molecular and synthetic biology. Probably the most widely used molecular bi biology application for the ECHO is tipless, touchless, PCR, and qPCR. Uh, the ECHO can be used to dispense master mix, cDNA, primers, and water backfills in a simple, single protocol. And you can do this with either uh, our application, which is a fairly straightforward uh, graphical interface, or you can also code this and use a CSV um, pick list. This heat map from uh, 1536 well hi uh, light cycler highlights the abilities of the echo to target wells without uh, touching them and without any cross-contamination. So what we've done here is fill the entire plate with uh, master mix and primers, so we're uh, ready to go, but then we've only dispensed the DNA to the wells highlighted in green, so you see no cross-contamination in the wells highlighted in red. Moreover, we are able to uh, dispense 500, na 500 nanoliter qPCR reactions with sub-2% uh, CVs on the CQs. The next few slides are highlights from the ECHO's use in the 2016 uh, Cold Spring Symbio course held last year. Uh, instructors uh, Mike Smansky and Vincent Nero used uh, the ECHO in their uh, respective modules. And they've been uh, kind enough to provide me data from, uh, from those modules. And just as a shameless protocol, uh, shameless protocol, a uh, shameless plug, the Echo 550 uh, will be on site at the 2017 uh, uh, Cold Spring course. So if you know of a student that's uh, attending the course this year, please send along uh, a very complicated pick list for, uh, for us to try. Our typical runs are between 15 and 30 minutes, so I get bored very easily and would like a challenge. So in Mike's, uh, Mike's module, um, the students compared uh, Gibson and Golden Gate assembly using uh, the ECHO and were able to get colonies from uh, two, three, or five fragments with uh, high efficiency. And they were also able to miniaturize the reactions down to about a 250 nanoliter reaction with high efficiency at, um, at five, uh, five fragments putting them together. Um, 
This is fairly routine if you are a, a DNA foundry, but uh, these were students with uh, little to no uh, assembly experience. So um, they were able to uh, knock this out and using um, something like Golden Gate, they were able to permute the elements at will given their ability to dispense from any well to any well. In Vincent's module, Vincent uh, highlighted the use of the TXTL reaction, transcription and translation, which is a great breadboard for uh, being able to, uh, to test uh, gene circuits in a cell-free manner. What Vincent, uh, what we were able to do with his lab as well as the, um, in the course was dispense all of the components necessary for the TXTL to take place. And uh, given this example data that he generously provided, we were able to um, uh, change the stoichiometry of the gene circuits and then read in real time the production of the GFP. Subsequently, Vincent purchased his own ECHO and um, as he noted in his lab impact, they've been able to uh, increase the throughput, but more importantly, they've been able to uh, gain significantly in the reproducibility. Um, every echo run, you get a uh, transfer report that tells you what you did. So you've created your construct. You've maybe tested it in a self-free system. We've also, uh, our, our customers are using uh, the echo in uh, NGS particularly in uh, library preparation, quantitating, the, uh, quantitating for NGS, and uh, pooling and normalization. Uh, one example from, uh, from Amaris was the ability to microscale uh, the Nextera um, reaction from 50 microliters down to 500 nanoliters adding 200 nanoliters of DNA with the echo, and then the tagmentation uh, master mix, 300 nanoliters, and then being able to terminate that in a, uh, also with the echo, and then also using the echo for adding the, uh, the primers. And so what this has enabled is nearly a 100-fold reduction in the, uh, the costs of the um, tagmentation reaction from $73 per reaction down to 73 cents. And with our ability to dispense tip free, we are also able to reduce the costs and the volume significantly in uh, reactions such as PCR as well as uh, Gibson Golden Gate. So I'd like to leave you with uh, the uh, key benefits and features of the ECHO. Most notably, we're able to dispense at uh, 2.5 or 25 nanoliters. This enables us to uh, save reagents and uh, miniaturize your assays. Our technology is non-contact and it's a very gentle technology. We can actually dispense cells with it. We can do any well to any well, so there are no uh, fixed tip constraints. And most importantly, even though the echo is used on uh, expensive automation, automated high throughput uh, platforms, DNA foundries, I think it's uh, fairly end user friendly. And I think I can teach the average person to set up a, uh, an echo transfer and drag and drop their liquids around in about 30 to 40 minutes. Of course, I've only been able to scratch the surface of our uh, applications in seven minutes, so I would invite you to uh, visit labsite.com and our uh, resources page, and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you for your time.